Certain athletes are remembered for a special moment, a moment that is glued permanently into the scrapbook of American sports. Brandy Chastain had that special moment at the 1999 Women's World Cup Soccer Final, but this one picture hardly tells her entire story. Chastain's athletic career brought her worldwide fame, but it began in a San Jose neighborhood when Roger and Lark Chastain signed up Brandy for soccer simply to let their hyperactive young daughter blow off some steam. As Brandy later explained, they just wanted to get me off the roof, and it turned into something amazing. The journey to amazing, however, had many stops. Chastain first starred at Archbishop Mitty High School, where her team won three Central Coast section titles. After a season at Cal Berkeley, she transferred to Santa Clara University, closer to home, and helped the Broncos twice reach the Final Four of women's college soccer while being named National Player of the Year. A spot on the USA national team seemed a foregone conclusion, and Chastain did indeed make the squad. She scored five goals in one of her first matches, but her challenges were just beginning. She was a forward on the national team in the early 90s, won a World Cup with the U.S. team as a forward in 1991, and then got cut from the team. She then fought her way back, went over to Japan to play, kept playing post-college, fought her way back and actually came back onto the team as a defender. With the USA team, Chastain joined a roster of women whose names would soon be on the lips of soccer-loving kids across America. They won the gold medal at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics and then set their sights on the 1999 World Cup that would be played in their own country. Things grew intense as the USA team worked its way through that 1999 tournament. Everyone could forecast the inevitable climax, a final at the Rose Bowl against rival China. After two scoreless periods and overtime, the game went to penalty kicks, and Chastain, as the fifth USA player to shoot, stood in line for her destiny. Earlier that year, they played China in the Algarve tournament in Portugal. Brandy took a penalty kick right-footed, and the Chinese goalkeeper saved it. The coach, Tony DiCicco, knew Brandy was very comfortable with both feet and said, uh, boy, that'll really surprise the Chinese goalkeeper when you step up and look, to, look like you're going to take a left-footed. That'll really uh, throw her off. In the end, it really didn't matter if it threw her off or not. Brandy hit the perfect shot. Chastain's goal and her shirt off celebration made her an international celebrity and catapulted the USA soccer women into unprecedented heights. With the same core group, the USA won a silver medal at the Sydney 2000 Olympics and another gold medal at the 2004 Athens Games. Away from the national team, Chastain became a soccer evangelist and pioneer as a member of the San Jose Cyber Rays in America's first professional women's soccer league. Brandy will stay until midnight signing autographs. She was always the last one to come into the locker room to the point where you know, you'd have to go outside in a stadium after a game. Everyone showered and ready to go and be like, Brandy, come on, let's go. This is great, but the bus is waiting. She also served as a part-time assistant coach at Santa Clara for her husband and head coach, Jerry Smith. The Cyber Rays won the league title. The Broncos won a national championship. It was no coincidence. It's hard to, you know, measure Brandy's impact on the game of soccer, on women's athletics, and her impact at Santa Clara University. Chastain's 192nd and final game with the national team was in December 2004, but she was a powerful player at the professional level for the rest of the decade, certifying her status as the best soccer player ever produced by the Bay Area, male or female. She has also continued the local community work that began during her playing career, with the primary goal of encouraging young women to develop healthy lifestyles and achieve their dreams. She's a giver. She wants to help. She wants to give. She wants to give back in life. She wants to inspire the next generation in a positive way. It's very inspiring to see how she understands her role she understands that she has great impact on young people, and um, she embraces that role. Chastain joins the Hall of Fame as one of its most distinguished members. It is impossible to write the history of American sport without including her name in one chapter. And what should the chapter's title be? How about One Woman, One Moment, and One Amazing Soccer Life?